What is going on guys? Today we are looking at Richardson. He is the new Future Star SBC. Very, very cheap as well, which is always nice. It's currently coming in at 40,000 coins. A four star, four star with a left foot. Long ball pass. Six for five in the midfield as well. Definitely don't miss that one. Center mid or CDM. He's got 84 pace, 82 defending, 87 physical, 84 dribbling and 82 on the passing. In terms of agility balance, 75 on the balance. I'm interested to see... Does that have a major impact on the card? We've got the long ball pass plus. We've got jockey, first touch, press proven, and also relentless. Now we've gone with the shadow for him because he is going to be more on the defensive side. That will end up giving him 92 on the pace, 89 on that defending, and it will make him an 89 CDM overall. Shooting wise, I'm not feeling. I feel like he's going to be more of that passive sort of defender who's going to just defend it, and then he's going to pass the ball forward. There's nothing more to it. Not really a box to box heavily, but he has got some passing stats and some dribbling. I'm interested. So let's just jump straight into him. He's very cheap. So at the minimum, it's a very low risk reward. Are you looking for gift cards, game keys, and more? Head over to U7 Buy for a variety of cards you can get today. From PSN, Steam, all the way to Xbox. With huge amounts of price variations. Check the link in the description for cheap, reliable digital cards for you right now. Well then, let's give him a go. Six foot five. Why does he not look six five? Oh, but he dribbles like a five foot six Messi. Uh, he jokes. Look at him, threw him up the wing though. First thing he says, he's not going to be anybody that's going to be passing, attacking. He's going to be on the, the defense more than anything. And then he's there looking. Oh, is Putielis? Why is Putielis left footed? Huh? But in terms of. Oh, could we get him here? Could this be the shout? I, I don't actually even see him there. Virgil's going to go for the header instead. Well, I'm assuming we've got no corner or, or any free kicks about him. Let's have a look. What do we got? Uh, oh, he's right at the bottom. We got seven. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Not even worth mentioning. Finds him out wide. Can we find anything from him? He's going to turn on the inside. Again, trying to just fake out as whatever he can. He's, he's very mechanical on the dribbling once he gets down to like zero pace. Then you know that you kind of even need to pass it on. He's not going to have that that quick turn and then burst off pace. But it's good enough to get it away from somebody, which is most definitely all you need to do to start with. Getting that little turn in here just to kind of just stop some from be, uh, somebody from going, to be honest. There's Puti Ellis. I'm going to look on the inside. We're going to watch that. Oh, that, that's the one. Oh, it could have been. And there, nice touch. Can we get the ball through? It's, oh, it's that last step from him. I mean, first thoughts, that's a great interception. I feel like intercept would have been a better play style for him, especially being more heavy on that defense. He's going to go for that pass. Ooh, he's going to go again. Ah, oh, there, there's going to be the pass, surely. I'm going to look on the defense for him. It seems like with that shadow, he's definitely got a decent amount of pace on him. It's kind of just pushing to get back. But the problem is, is I don't know if there's anything else for him to do other than the normal CDM role that everybody's got. So when you, it depends on who you've got in your team always. That, that, that's always going to be the case. If you've got Hullet, you're not looking at this video to see if he's going to be the next best CDM over him. Especially for 40,000, he's not going to be doing anything that's not already being done in your team. That is phenomenal. That's not who I wanted it to. But I think if I was looking at a card like this, it's not even necessarily for the now. And I think it was greatly looked at from someone like a Pedro Neto is even though, yes, they've definitely got some playability. They're not they're not rank one by any shadow of imagination, but they definitely could be played in a lower rivals, a fun squad, something a bit different, something that, that showcases maybe new cards. You, you definitely could get him into a squad like that, and he would do bits, like he'd do enough. But what is good with a card like this is potentially what happens when Evolutions does become a thing for the card. That is still massively uh, kind of underrated when we do find the Centurions. We're seeing some left backs now that can go in there. Yes, I'm not saying that. Again, they're still going to be way under the curve, which is which is kind of to be expected. They're never meant to be your Maldinis, your 
kind of Roberto Carlos is, your Ronaldinho's. That, that's, that's not the point of a 40k card. But at the minimum, you could have a shot at a very good upgrade potentially in the future. And that's something that you definitely want to have a look at when looking at these SPCs because they cost you nothing. You might be able to get him uh, kind of a bit cheaper when the kind of market either dies down, goes up. But I think 40,000 really is not a bad value for any sort of card, especially if they have got the Playstar Plus added. It's a big upgrade from their normal version, which this one is, because I believe he was a silver prior to this. So that already puts him in a very good book in terms of upgrade. You know, he's not really gonna get a bigger upgrade than this, either soon or at all, to be honest. Let's see if we can get Mbappe in here. I'm gonna look for that fake. Oh, he's absolutely sold the bait, and I sold it as well. Gets the good tackle turn can we just drive through seems really good at getting the ball back but it's it's myself dribbling and i'm leaving the defense fully open here great little spin from him up oh, into half time brilliant and i've just learned apparently this isn't the right nation okay that's always fantastic so basically this sbc has been removed at the moment and will be re-released with the correct credentials very soon if you have finished the card prior to this then you will get him back oh well you will get the new player and you won't have to complete the sbc again which i suppose is a nice thing but classic ea so I'm, i don't even know what nation he is we'll have a look at the end to see what nation he actually was meant to be or club uh, it says nation but Again, I don't know how they could screw that up. He's got a base card, so makes zero sense to me. I think if you can link him up with some sort of box-to-box -box or attack in mid, definitely in for a winner. Putiel has to take away everything. Oh, I was hoping he was going to run in, but it seems to be Maldini on the run for some reason. Putiel with a tackle. No. We're going to clean up nicely. Where can we find him? Just got a little chip to... Okay, a chip a chip to best, but I don't know why we didn't go across pitch. I keep forgetting that he's got the long ball pass as well. That's going to be a nice one if you want to hit that kind of diagonal a little bit. If you've got yourself some nice wingers, that's going to be a decent play style plus that could work out nicely. If you are, like I say, getting it from deep, moving it back somewhere like here. Obviously, I've got him the other side. So if we're looking like kind of like this, I'm seeing best on the other side over there. Little kind of dink over. It's just a good way to kind of get involved with them wingers, especially if you have spent some money on making sure that you've got yourself the best of the best. Definitely. Lovely turn. Putielis. It's going to do it for us all. And again, this is where we want to see best like there. Literally, I can see I can see the ping onto him. It's just going to give us a nice bit of space. If you are struggling, this guy is going on to quite a heavy press already. We can already then get it back to him. We're looking for that Mbappe ball. We could easily go back. Again, spread it over to a best. See if he can get the little turn. Knot it down to Eto's are going across goal. And it just works like that. It's all game management with him. Again, very lucky. Like, I'm not going to be able to do that every single time. But that is kind of the premise of what you're looking for with a long ball plus. You don't want to necessarily always be doing long balls. But some short, some long. It's always nice to have that kind of spread with the ability of him. And he seems to be able to do quite a lot. Which is nice for a very cheap player, most definitely. Oh, love it. All the way, my friend. All the way. Ping it across. Good good block. Ah, that's the uh, Burnley right back as well. <laughs> he ain't losing a header either. The fact that he's six foot five in the mid always gives me them big Hullet vibes. That's exactly what you want. Going in for more of a kind of like, well, for instance, with Putielis. She isn't necessarily the tallest centre mid in the world. So when it comes to a physicality battle, she may have the kind of on ground. But when it comes to kind of in-air ability and heading... Unfortunately, there is height is the only thing that factors that really. So we are going into the overall form then. So in terms of what did they screw up on here? How do you change him from literally the base card to to French? I, I don't I don't I don't get how. Like I genuinely don't get how. What could we have? We could have an eighty nine on him. What, what could we have done? Oh, is uh. Welcome to have a look. Oh, I suppose he's gone from 77 to 89. So you could have had actually quite a nice card. In terms of the upgrade, we have gained 10, what, 11 on the shooting, 10 on the passing, lost a bit of dribbling. What does that composure take you to? 
86. I mean, if you've already done the 89, then fair enough, if that's your next best player. But for 40,000 coins, it's not bad at all. I know the SPC is gone, but he is going to come back as Moroccan as well. So if you have already done him, you're basically going to get two of him. So you can pick which one you kind of want to do. I don't think they disable the other one out of uh, kind of just when... So you basically have to put him into an SBC. I think they will just give us two. So if you've obviously got the French version, technically chemistry-wise, that's going to be better for you. But in terms of the upgrade, I think it's not bad. I feel like the three SBCs we've had, they're definitely doable players. They're not costly. You've got Neto at just just over 100, 160 for Pina, and then Rich, uh, what is it? Richardson. I don't want to say Richardson there, but Richardson, 40,000. I don't think that's bad whatsoever in terms of a cost. At the very minimum, like we've already seen here, we've got an 89 version of him. It won't be long until this card can be evolutioned as well. I think there's nothing absolutely crazy standout. So in terms of the upgrade, that's definitely something to look at. If we go with the shadow, 92 on the pace, like we said, 89 on the defending. It's most definitely a standard card, but a standard card that could be upgraded later on. Did he get a weak foot skill move upgrade? He's got a 3-3 free free into a 4-4 four four as well. I'd say this is a perfect card to stock in your club. Get ready for that evolution because once he becomes a 90 or something along them lines, that could be quite a decent upgrade for him. A French centre mid, if you've done the SBC already, even Moroccan in league gun is still going to be better than nothing. So let me know down below what you think about him and make sure you like and subscribe. Bases.